Welcome to my perfume and luxury channel. Today we're talking about eccentric molecule fragrances and my favorites from the line. They are extremely popular, fra popular <laughs> fragrances and they've been around for a good few years. And the most popular I would say is Molecule 01, but I would say it's not my favorite from the line. So if you want to find your perfect new fragrance or you want to get something from the brand but you don't know where to start because there's so many fragrances there now, then this is the video for you. Okay, let's start with maybe saying something about the Molecule 01 fragrance. I um, have owned a few samples of it and to me this is not the highlight, my favorite from the line because on my skin it smells bad. A lot of people say that it smells amazing on them but I would say that you have to be careful with this one because some skins like mine and my husband's like it just doesn't smell good so if you want to blind by a fragrance that is definitely not one for you. You have to try it on your skin and you have to ask other people or about what they are smelling because some people are anosmic to this fragrance so they can't even pick it up and smell it. So ask a couple of people and then if it smells amazing on you, well done and then you can get it. But I would say that one is to, you have to be careful with this one. Whereas a couple of other ones from the line I would say are a bit better. So my, one of my favorites that you should check out is this one. It's M plus Iris. This is a basic fragrance. All of them are pretty transparent and basic, uh, which is perfect for if you want a fragrance that is for every day, for work, that is super versatile, or if you live in a super humid, hot climate, these fragrances are also excellent because they are just very light and they last, which is amazing. This one, the iris one, I would say this leans more feminine, Although if you're a guy, you could also mix it up with other fragrances because they're great uh, if you want to layer them as well. But I would say this is a fragrance that is it's quite feminine and the founder created it for his wife. Um, and this is a fragrance that will get you tons of compliments. It's iris. So it's slightly nutty, it's um, powdery, it's clean, a bit soapy even, and super transparent. It really gives you a huge cloud when you wear it. My husband really enjoys wearing it actually. I enjoy wearing it a lot, so we've used quite a lot of it. It's such a just feel good scent. If you don't know what to wear, this will do it every time. It's non-offensive. Everybody will like it. This is a blind worthy fragrance and I love the fragrances that have got an addition of something. So I love the eccentric molecule line and also molecule plus something because the ones that are just molecules without anything, to me, they give you either an amazing effect or they smell bad on your skin. Whereas this, it will smell amazing on everybody. So Iris is... It's spectacular. Next fragrance that I love from the line is another M plus <laughs> fragrance. It's M plus Mandarin. This scent is perfect for hot, humid climates or for somebody who wants a Mandarin scented water. <laughs> Basically, this is a very simple fragrance. Smells like Mandarin, juicy Mandarin, and the scent lasts and lasts, which is super hard to achieve in a fragrance. Usually those notes just last maybe 20 minutes, even less, and then you get just different notes in the fragrance. This is that sort of freshness, smells quite real. So yeah, just basic, but sometimes you're craving something basic, uncomplicated, especially when it's super hot. I gravitate towards this one. And yeah, I would say this is again, a super crowd pleasing fragrance. Everybody will like it. Next up, I've got a another Molecule scent. This is Molecule 04. And this scent is one that is funny to my nose. I nearly every time I smell it, I want to cough. It's so fun. It's so different when you, <coughs> <coughs> I 
I do have to cough nearly every single time. I don't know what it is about this fragrance, but then it's all fine. I don't keep coughing, I promise. This smells like pencil shavings, smells like wood, but like freshly cut wood, super dry. This is an excellent transparent woody fragrance to uh, to layer with uh, different fragrances. Really wears differently on everybody. So this scent is like your signature worthy scent that you can wear every day and it will smell different on you than somebody else. You can layer it with tons of different fragrances. If you prefer woody scents, then I would say go for this one. Transparent, woody, simple. Yeah, just pencil shavings, bit of citrus in there. Such a unique scent. And I would say this one leans a bit more masculine. So if one of you guys wants to, if you enjoy wearing men's fragrances, then go for this one. Or if you are a guy, I would say this one is the one for you. Another scent from the M Plus line that you should check out is M Plus Patchouli. This is a scent that smells like patchouli, quite obvious. Uh, they're quite good at that, but it's, oh, it's so good. It smells like something forbidden to me. Um, it smells earthy, a bit nutty. It is so excellent with other fragrances, but also by itself. So you get the steam running around here. They're either a scent that you just wear by itself, but you can also layer it. And the patchouli note in here, if you love patchouli, patchouli smells a lot like like wet ground or if you're going into a cave um, and you get that damp earthy scent that is kind of what patchouli smells like and if you love patchouli this is so so good it's so spiky it's so green I just love this fragrance. This is very unusual. I would say not everybody will love it, but if you love patchouli and you know you love patchouli, then this will blow your socks off. Next up, I've got these two babies. This is quite dangerous, actually. This is excellent for keeping in your bag because if you hit somebody with this, they'll be sorry. Um, and this is the miniature of Eccentric Molecule 05 and i've got another one here eccentric molecule o2 these two are also my favorites especially for travel especially for hot humid sort of a climate if you're going on a holiday and you're thinking oh i can't stand to wear any sort of a fragrance these two will do it for you these two are excellent uh, or if you're looking for a gym fragrance or a super transparent work fragrance, these will do excellently. I would say the Eccentric Molecule 05, it's a bit more masculine set, uh, smelling, which I enjoy wearing because I enjoy men's fragrances. I gravitate towards men's fragrances. So this is a bit more woody and citrusy and aromatic whereas eccentric molecule o2 is a bit more i would say smooth and silky woody but in a creamy way without that much spice in it whereas this o5 is very very spicy this is i would say one of the most likable scents from the line, the Eccentric Molecule O2. I think it would smell great on every single person. It's so attractive smelling uh, when I smell it in the air. It's just that scent that it's a fragrance, but it doesn't really smell like a perfume. It just smells like you're this naturally gifted, extremely uh, well-smelling person, if you know what I mean. So this, I would say, this is like a blind buy, uh, safe blind buy fragrance, the Eccentric Molecule O2. With the other ones, they're more or less likable, which I highlighted in this video. But if I had to pick my absolute favorites, it would probably be Eccentric Molecule O2 and also M Plus uh, Iris on myself. But all of these are excellent and I would recommend them. They are my favorites from the line. There's more fragrances, but if you're just starting to get into a fragrance, um, 
of like molecule fragrances or if you just want to blind buy something then i would say these are your best bets i hope i helped you i link all of these fragrances down below if i can uh, find some great deals and sales for them i'll also um, link them down below so check out the description box subscribe if you enjoy perfume and luxury videos and um, i'm on instagram as well at monica underscore cho if you fancy having a little look and i'll see you guys very soon bye